This is not a room tour. This is Holly having fun on a desk chair. <laughs> Go! Got my hot lemon. It's quite quiet around here. My neighbours are gonna wonder who she's talking to. Who is this girl? I'm so lucky to have me as their neighbour. Hey guys and welcome to today's video. I'm so excited. I get to show you my room of 2018. I say this every year, okay, but this Guys, it tops them all, I am telling you. I honestly love this room, I'm not gonna lie. And so I'm just very excited to film this room tour video and show you guys. I've decorated my room now, I've got everything organized in the places where I want it to be, I think. I moved in two days ago now. I need to put actually a huge disclaimer on this video. Get your tea or your hot lemons ready, people. Please listen before you just comment down below. So I'm just gonna put the details out there for the sake of the fact that they're details and they're facts. I am in my third year, I do biology, biological natural sciences, and this is a room tour at Cambridge. I'm at Cambridge University, okay? I've said it, I feel as if I have just dropped a freaking bomb. I'm gonna tell you what it is called. It's a room in my college, they're called the penthouses. My college is notorious for the fact that rooms are quite expensive. The ballot last year, which is how we get allocated rooms, went atrociously. There was a huge big kerfuffle and all this drama surrounding the room ballot last year. I was going to go for a room very similar to the one I had last year. However, they all went. I was very low down in the ballot, so I was one of the last people to pick. When one of these was still available, I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna go for it. So hard to say these things without people just judging you. But I am in a lot of debt, just like every other student out there. I am not from a rich family. My parents are not paying for my degree. I have worked so hard to be at this university and to be where I am right now. Yeah, eh. This room, just because it's a very nice room, I don't think it's a reflection of the fact that I come from a rich family and all this stuff. So yeah, we've got this room now, no regrets, and I hope you guys enjoy seeing it. So first impressions, I'm going to show you when we first walked in, myself and my dad. I'm just going to show you what it looked like before I decorated it, before decoration, after decoration, thought that might be quite good. You ready to see the room? Okay. Wow. Oh my gosh, I'm actually like, what the hell? First impressions of the room, we have two chairs and then we have this massive wardrobe here that has loads of space. Then I have bed, a little bedside table, a huge desk, love that. Shelving there, dad's sitting on the bed, experimenting. Wow, storage everywhere. Oh my gosh, I'm like, wow, this room is cool. <laughs> and now I'm gonna show you the finished Thing. You were just sitting on my tripod made out of ring binder folders. Good old folders. So let's take you around a little tour of my room. You guys are just probably sitting there looking at the screen like, come on, Holly, just show us your room, please. I'm just gonna walk over to where you come in. The door is here. It's got pegs as you walk in where I just hang my stuff. I forgot my helmet, by the way. It should be there. People can put their shoes there so they don't get in the way of the door. And then here is just this big armchair, grey blue armchair thing. My shoes there, the chair there. Now I'm just gonna give you a quick pan because I think this is the best way for you guys to like get your bearings. And that's great. Yeah, the ceiling so the ceiling is pretty high in this room and then this is the main area so it is carpeted this year i have never had carpet in my uni room before i'm not really sure whether i like carpet or not my fluffy socks i feel they're molting that's why there's bits of white everywhere anyway next to the chair here this is my main wardrobe i suppose it's full length and it is secured so my dad and i couldn't move it this is my wardrobe inside this is where i've got some of my clothes hanging there my washing and laundry stuff there so i can just chuck stuff in and then i filled these shelves the top two i've filled with clothes and then i've got my dance bag there and then the bottom two are sh for shoes then this cupboard i dent open because i stuffed it with just random bits and bobs i'm only five foot four and can't really reach it anyway up here is all lockable storage there is a stick thing over there because <laughs> there is no way i'd be able to reach all the way up here no way near anyway moving on okay and then we come to my bed i've just put my muscle roller here and then this is one of my storage boxes from at home but i cover it with 
one of the blankets this is the college blanket that they supply and then i've just got a spare bedding set in here if people come and stay with me so then my bed is in this corner here with my blanket on the end my cushions i've got a bedside lamp here which i can control from my bed which is really useful at night time but we don't need it on right now i have this fan thing in my room this year let me try and turn this thing on is it turning on no hello is it gonna turn on maybe i need to turn it up oh god oh wait that's the switch i found the switch is it gonna pick up any speed at any time there we go i'm not really a big fan of fans because i um i have a phobia of things that spin around my 100 facts about me video i mentioned that but yeah i don't really like fans but it's gonna be useful in the summer i hope i have these pin boards at the end of my room and this one above my bed i decided to put my little fairy lights up it's a bit annoying that you can see the battery but oh well it's really useful this year because i could just use my push pins my rabbit push pins to secure the lights last year i had such a nightmare trying to keep these things up but this year it works so well and i decided as you can see on the right side i put my pictures and on the left side above my bed i put the fairy lights it kind of distinguishes my sleeping area from like my desk kind of worky area which i'm going to show you in a minute i'm not sure if i like it yet you guys can give me your opinion i decided to create w shapes or bum cheek shapes i'm not really sure if i like the bum cheek shapes at the moment but you guys can tell me what you think anyway next to my bed i have my bedside table and a little bedside lamp and underneath it has this big space now i decided to put the clothes that i have out under here i say this all the time but it's like the chair that most people use to just shove clothes on when they're not ready for the wash at home i use a drawer to just put those out clothes in this year i decided to shove them in here which is quite handy actually oh under the bed it's not very interesting there's just some boxes and my nighttime socks my yoga mat and my washing era i'm not going to fold my yoga mat up all the time because i use it every day it's easier just to grab and go from under my bed then just moving back a bit so you can see the full thing this is my desk area so my desk is honestly huge i think it's the biggest desk i've had there is so much space i have this massive lamp which uh you can turn on if that wasn't obvious my dad plugged in one of my extension leads here so i can charge my macbook and my phone it's just sellotaped down i have these drawers all stationary stuff in these drawers then i have my lovely swivel desk chair which is my new favorite thing i've then got on the end of my desk my to-do list my diary and my pencil case this set of shelves here i have kept for work stuff so my folders they're this year's folders which are not full yet and they're some from last year then i've got some sellotape random bits this side is my food shelves and everything kind of kitcheny related i don't know got my wooden box which i honestly love from ikea this is gonna be my banana ripening station in here i think this year i've got some other fruits and stuff i've got my fruit basket above it then on here i've got a selection of energy bars trek bars and naked bars which are honestly my new favorite thing my overnight oats jar my mason jar with water in one of my mugs here next to the fruit basket we have a tea station going on here and then above that i've got my almond milks plant-based milks on my top shelf just around the corner next to my shelves i've got my blender which is plugged in the wire runs behind this box there's an extension lead behind the trek bars and naked bars but they very nicely cover all that so you can't even see it which is great oh under my desk here i have one of my bins which i'll put paper in it will be like a recycling bin and then this one just like last year i will use it for a food waste bin and i'm gonna ask to get some food waste biodegradable bags in here so we can just go straight in the compost another seat to sit on there's a radiator under there somewhere and it just stops there which is really great because my freezer and my fridge so fridge from freezer they sit really nicely there next to each other and i have my tray on top so yeah they fit honestly so well in that little space there next to the bin they're not in front of the radiator so not a safety hazard on the very end i've just got my other storage box which i fill up with food just like last year if you saw my last year's room tour and then above i've got my big white bowl and my white plates and small bowls stuff like that i've only ever had green cards so this year it's a nice change to bluey grey coming to these two doors so this one is the ensuite and this one okay it is the biggest surprise in this room ever i just expected it to be some shelves but no this little door in here we shall go in because you can go in it is essentially a little tiny walk-in wardrobe it's honestly crazy this is my full-length mirror here on the inside of that door it's quite dark in here because there's no light but 
I've got some more hanging stuff here. I've got some t-shirts under there. Then I've got drawers. At the top, I've got spare bedding and spare towels, if you can see that. Not very interesting. Then these shelving units, I've got my beauty bag thing with spare stuff in. Box for my facial cleaner. Random cleaning shelf. This is a kind of shelf for makeup. I haven't plugged this in anywhere. I'm just going to use it when I need it. Then we've got a hair shelf, which is a bit messy, but that's okay. This shelf is for bags. So my shopping bags, canvas, tote bags, and a little going out bag. Then I have some gloves, hats, and stuff like that for winter. And on the bottom, some dance shoes. I love that little bit of the room. It's so cute. I could just close myself in this cupboard and just hide and nobody would ever find me. It's great. Okay, then back to the door. You're familiar with that area, but this is the ensuite here. I've got a peg behind here with my towel on and dressing gown. I've got a toilet. This is a heated towel rail thing, so it's got my hand towel on and a tea towel. You then come to the sink here. So I've got my retainer case here, my hand soap in this little crevicey bit my mug with my toothbrushes in and teeth stuff little bin there and then this cupboard i've just filled with skincare stuff moisturizers makeup wipes of the wipes fake tan stuff all that jazz perfume you name it and then this is my shower here the door just opens oh watch my bath mat and then it's got a shower head in it you know just put my stuff on the bottom oh and then my comb is hanging there quite nicely and then you just essentially come back out into my room so you can see the full length of it here turn the light off so yeah that is my room essentially from top to bottom all the way around 360 degree tour of my room and in the cupboards out the cupboards there's nothing really more the kitchen i'm gonna go and show you the kitchen as well so it's a shared communal kitchen just like last year but for my first two years i was in different rooms but i had the same kitchen though however this year it's a whole new kitchen and it is bigger but it's shared between more people so this is the kitchen just along the corridor just turn the lights on this is the kitchen it is bigger than last year it has a big space in the middle whereas my other one was more of a corridor there are two fridges in this kitchen so there's one there and my stuff is in there and there's another one here so i've got my stuff drying from this morning on my drainer here then you've got a sink next to it that's the kind of communal drainer but i just have this one so i can leave my stuff drying overnight we've got two hobs here here which last year and in my first year because i had the same kitchen as i said they were built into the work surface whereas these are just like freestanding ones you've then got a window in this kitchen which is actually quite nice because it will let out the smells if somebody's made something smelly got a microwave here bins all under there food waste bin there another microwave actually toaster kettle there another set of hobs so i could have four pans going if there was nobody else in here which is quite funny and another kettle which is the kitchen so that's just the door i've got some food in the bottom cupboard so it's easy for me to reach then this cupboard has my pans and stuff in it it's a good way around because otherwise i would not be able to reach all the food at the back there so i can actually reach all this stuff because i'm not that tall as i keep saying so yeah the kitchen nothing really more in here so yeah that is my room and my kitchen everything i'm gonna be in it a lot so you'll get very familiar as i said at the start i have a student loan so everything that i pay for at university my room included is on a student loan and obviously alone is alone you have to pay that back so technically i'm in debt but i'm just gonna make the most of this room if you enjoyed this room tour please like it um comment down below and subscribe if you're new also turn the notification bell on because then you'll know when i upload thank you as always for watching guys i hope you stick around for more of holly this i will speak to you very soon in the next video guys bye for now I just dropped my camera. It still works, but the screen is now a bit dodgy. Oh my god, I just dropped my camera. No, 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 no. <gasps> what did I do? I'm not really sure whether I like carpet or not. I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure whether I like carpet or not.